Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Guys, this is um, all about how your person is feeling about you. If there's a specific person you have in mind and you're wondering what their deeper thoughts are, what their feelings are, how they feel about you, um, whether their feelings deep down are different to what they show you, what they like, what they don't like about the connection. Um what their overall level of interest is, that sort of thing. Please keep on watching. Now, of course, it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But if you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. Capricorn, how are they feeling? Let's have a look here. Hmm. Wow, okay. So, and we've got the... um two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck there. So, wow, this person is, um, it's super interesting because overall they're really taking their time, but they are so super focused on you. I also feel like there's a lot of focus on money, career, finances for this person as well. So let's just, um, start from the beginning. So first card that wanted to come out was the eight of cups here. And this is actually representing how they're seeing you at the moment. So eight of cups, water energy. This is someone who is ready to just walk away. They're ready to just leave something behind. So I'm not sure if they're seeing you, if you've, you know, maybe recently come out of a relationship or you have recently walked away from something that you were quite strongly um, tied to in the past, but they see you as being in this stage of moving on. They may also be a little bit worried that you're considering walking away from them potentially, or they're worried that you don't have anything to lose at the moment. You're ready to just let something go and move on. But it's interesting. I also feel like there is a bit of mystery here with the moon in this card. You can see that not everything is completely revealed yet. For some of you, it's interesting because cap cappies, you don't normally have the energy of being impulsive, I guess, but you can sometimes come across as a little bit mysterious, I guess. So... This person, on the one hand, is still trying to figure you out. They still feel that there is a lot of mystery surrounding you. They're not sure about what your intentions are. They feel as though you may not be very open with what you're planning to do as well. And so they're just not sure. They just haven't figured you out yet. They're still literally trying to figure you out. For some of you, they may feel as though you're a little bit impulsive as well. And this is where I was going earlier, where Cappies, you don't normally do things very impulsively. You do things after a period of time of having really thought about it. That's, that's mostly the case. Obviously, it will depend on some of your other placements as well. But normally, you do like to plan and think things through and think ahead. So the fact that they're seeing you perhaps as a little bit impulsive is interesting, but that could just be because you are not completely making them aware of your plans. You're keeping things to yourself. You're not being completely open with what your next move is or what you plan to do. You're holding your cards close to your chest. You're not necessarily lying about anything. I don't see that. I just see that you're not being completely open about everything that you're feeling, everything that you're planning, everything that you're thinking about doing. I feel like they're seeing you as the type of person who just does something, who just kind of launches themselves themselves into action. And they're seeing that as a little bit impulsive, but actually I think it's something that you have thought about. You're just not sharing every kind of move with this person. But it's interesting because they maybe are not that type of individual. I'm seeing them as someone who is a bit more open and honest, a bit more like an open book, not to say that you're not being honest, but just that they're the type of person who might speak about the first thing that pops into their head or comes to their mind. So they're coming across as the six of wands here, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, but doesn't necessarily have to be. They're looking quite um, 
victorious in something they may have recently achieved some kind of success they could be coming across maybe as a little bit confident about something as well they have I think also that's something that you are uh, find very attractive about them you like the fact that they are so confident they're not afraid to say what they want maybe in the way that they um, approached you as well or the way that you two um, first met whether you've known this person for a short period of time or a long period of time either way the way that they approached you you really liked it it's kind of what drew you to them because they came forward with that air of confidence and they were so assertive and you found that really attractive that was definitely like a turn on for you I feel with this individual I do think that this is someone who is quite um quite popular in some ways a lot of people look up to them this person may have achieved a lot or or still be achieving a lot in terms of their career as well or maybe um you know just with regards to the people around them in general a lot of people look up to them they're kind of like in a leadership position they may have recently even been promoted or something like that at work or maybe moved to a new company or a new position where they're in more of a leadership type role they've achieved a lot of success it is based on the fact that this person does work hard but they also are lucky in some ways they they have that good combination of taking opportunities and being successful and working hard with the opportunities that they're given in order to to maintain that success so that's really interesting this is someone who wants to be successful in everything they do this is not someone who necessarily wants to um, waste time without an objective of success in mind and I'm also seeing that this person is actually quite family orientated I feel I do think that they eventually want to get to a point where they get married they have a family they settle down maybe you know for some of you this person may have a family or children already but that that is a strong focus for them even though they may not be openly discussing that at the moment I feel as though they have other things they want to achieve right now in terms of their career let's say for example like they're on their path to achieving success in other ways so they're focused on that however they do definitely have a family orientation maybe their family you know their their parents or their siblings or their extended family or whatever maybe that's very important to them as well or holds a very valuable part of their life uh, so that is a focus for this person for sure when we look at their deeper feelings this is where it gets interesting because for someone who is so successful so driven so hardworking, and I do think quite focused on money and finances as well we have the hanged man energy. So I'm sensing a couple of different things for this. First of all, this is not someone who rushes into anything in their life. I think that this person likes to really plan and think things through. And they're not the type of person who's going to just gloss over something and not see it for what it truly is. What I like about this, though, is that they're currently gaining a different perspective on the situation. And this may have something to do with the fact that they're still trying to figure you out. They're still trying to figure you out here. So they're still um, kind of thinking, what is Capricorn up to? How I, I don't know if I can predict Capricorn's next move. I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to walk away? Are they going to just completely move on you may also be physically moving as well so there could be a bit of that and this person is just tr trying to figure that out I also feel like they're having some sort of a mental kind of revolution in terms of maybe in terms of a few things but perhaps in terms of their personal relationships as well they're kind of thinking how to balance their personal relationships maybe and their work or family life or friends social life they're trying to figure out how to balance everything because balance or having an imbalance has perhaps been a bit of an issue for them in the past and they may also be learning something they may be doing a lot of research 
or recently embarked on a course of study which is really helping them change their perspective. I have a good feeling about that change. I think it's going to be a change for the better. But certainly there is this aspect where this person is almost waiting to see what your move is going to be before they make a move. Now, sometimes that is a little bit frustrating because I feel as though there are times where you just want to know what this person is thinking, what they're planning for the future, and it's very difficult to get that from this person. If you do get it, it tends to kind of be super superficial. It doesn't get to the heart of the issue because deep down, they're not they're still on the fence about something. Now, I'm actually not seeing that they're on the fence about you because I know they have strong feelings for you. You are 100% on their mind. We'll get to that in a moment. So they are they have by no means uh, let you out of their mind. You, uh, you have affected them quite significantly. However, they're just the type of person who is not going to rush into any sort of commitment until they have thoroughly analyzed everything in their mind and thoroughly evaluated you as well. Now, what they like about the connection, we've got this um, beautiful page of cups here. So it is an emotional energy. It's more cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm feeling as though, I don't know if you have water in their chart, in your chart um, that features quite strongly Capricorn. If you don't, I feel as though perhaps you may be more on the kind of caring um, emotional side compared to this person. Um, perhaps not over emotional because I am sensing that kind of, you're coming across to them as a little bit emotionally detached in the sense that you're able to separate your emotions from your rational mind, from your logical mind. And that could be actually one of the things that they like about you. However, I feel as though compared to them, you are perhaps the more kind of caring individual. You're more willing to speak from the heart, speak emotionally, even though it is a page and a page is not, you know, an overly developed or highly developed type of emotional communication but it's a start and I feel as though you are bringing something out of them you're softening them in a way but they love that about you they love the fact that this connection is softening them they may have a little bit of a hard exterior at times it's interesting but what they don't like is the moon more Pisces energy here they don't like the unknown and I feel as though they don't know what your next move is going to be. They want you to shed a light on it before they communicate their feelings. So it's interesting, but I feel as though a light will be shone on it soon. When we look at that overall level of interest, bang, Capricorn energy there with the devil, you this to me is just representing you and it's representing the fact that they are they feel very tied to this connection and to you you have affected them now sometimes this can be a little bit of a toxic energy sometimes it can be an energy of you know codependent relationships uh, sometimes it can be too much of a focus on the material aspects as well too much of a focus on on money um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially for my beautiful Capricorns, because obviously uh, money and the material aspects of life are very important and we can't just ignore those things. But I am seeing a very, very strong focus. So I don't know what you've done to this person, um, but they are very connected to you. So you are very much on their mind, but they're still just trying to figure things out. We've got the two of pentacles here. We've got the nine of swords. We've got the, yeah. So there's a little bit of, um, this person, again, I feel like they're an overthinker for sure. And they're very concerned about money, finding a balance in their life, stability. They could still be thinking like they're very early on in their, jo in their journey to achieving um, financial success and to achieving a, a point in their life where they feel stable and where they feel comfortable. Even though they're showing that they're very confident, they're very assertive, 
they're the type of person who has achieved success, they're still not where they want to be for whatever reason. And something is keeping them up. And I don't know if it could even be something completely separate to you. It could be perhaps even a family situation or something like that. Something is keeping them up at night. They're finding it hard to balance different areas of their life at the moment. Maybe even things like, you know, working and also exercising and also eating properly and also maintaining a social life, maintaining the rela- the relationship between you and them, their family connections. Maybe there's just an issue with that balance at the moment that they're still trying to kind of think about how they're going to get around it. But they're putting across um, a show that they're still very confident, that they have everything under control. But really, there's a few, I think, um, changes that are going to be made to their life very soon because they're trying to figure out how to balance things better. I'm going to pull a couple um, more cards for clarification, just on a couple of points here. Just I want um, some more information on a couple of the cards that have come out. Okay, I'm just going to get one more that fell. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Swords and we've got the um, Seven of Pentacles here. So yeah, definitely a bit of an impulsive energy. I feel as though sometimes the communication takes them by surprise. And so that's why they're just not sure about the next move that you may make. They're also probably thinking that you are going to, you may be deciding whether or not you're still interested in them. So um, they may be seeing you as taking a little bit of a step back. I don't know if you've maybe lessened the communication with them or something, but they're seeing that you've maybe taken a little bit of a step back and reevaluating whether you're going to keep investing in this or not. And they're thinking, they're almost worried that you're going to come in with some sort of sudden communication and possibly decide to just end things completely or completely move on. They're quite worried about that, actually. So I don't know what's happened. Maybe, maybe it's something they're overthinking. I don't know if you've done it deliberately, if you've decided to take a, li take a little bit of break from this deliberately, but either way, it really has them thinking about things. What's the ones here? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So um, we've got Sagittarius energy here with the Temperance card as well. So definitely this person is trying to get more balance in their life they feel as though they need to portray that everything comes easily to them um when it may that may not necessarily be the case so they're really trying to um to portray a real sense of you know being a balanced and successful individual however they're feeling a bit of pressure to make some kind of a call on this situation to make some kind of a move that's going to get you focusing on them again yeah they yeah look at that they want to actually figure out how to put more work into this i am seeing that they are highly focused they're highly focused on their money as well for sure i don't know if this person makes a lot of money or again they're just very very um they might be a bit of a workaholic as well for some of you this person might be very very um they enjoy it. They enjoy it. They do enjoy working. But I am seeing that they want to focus on you. They want to work and they want to get better at this relationship. They want this relationship to improve. They want the communication to improve as well. And I feel like they're trying to figure out how to match you in terms of the communication. Yeah, this is actually feeling like a bit of a wish come true for them. They get a lot of joy and a lot of feelings of contentment when they're around you. Look at all this cups energy. You are really bringing out an emotional side to them. They're feeling like a wish has come true. They're feeling almost a sense of, I don't know if you've known this person for a long time, but you're almost making them feel a little bit childlike again. It, it's really nice. I don't know if they've been through other relationships where perhaps they were not that deep emotionally or they weren't that emotionally fulfilling, but this is much more emotionally fulfilling them. It's touching them in a way that other relationships haven't or other connections haven't. It's making them feel like a child again or bringing them back to a time of 
maybe a little bit of innocence or a time before things got overly complicated in their life. It is also sometimes a bit of naivety when it comes to emotional communication. So one or both of you really struggles, but I'm feeling that it's more this person. They um, struggle a little bit with the emotional communication, but you're helping them somehow, whether you know it or not, whether you know that you're doing it, whether you're doing it on purpose, you are helping them become a little bit more open emotionally. There's something unknown here, possibly when it comes to travel or where each of you are going to live. Um, there could be something about this person's thinking about how things would work legally, how to combine maybe assets or something. I don't know. There could be something unknown with regards to someone's legal situation. This person may be feeling like in some ways you're, you might be a little bit too good for them, but they're still trying to figure it out. They're really still trying to figure it out. You may have met this person when they were on a path, they were on a, some kind of journey that they were not expecting to meet you and establish this kind of connection. So that has them feeling interesting, but I don't think they feel like they can't pass up this opportunity as well. The devil, yeah. So, um, Ace of Pentacles, I feel as though they are going to make some kind of offer to you. They are going to, um, this is going to have some sort of, this is, usually this is something physical, right? So Ace of Pentacles, this is some kind of physical gift. For some of you, it could be an engagement ring if you're at that level of the connection. Uh, but for others of you, this is something that has promise for the future, but it's generally something practical, something solid, something you can feel in touch. So it could be an actual gift um, or it could be just something, a, a conversation about where things are going to go. But they're wanting a success and they're wanting to really start things on the correct footing. But this is... Um, yeah, this person has definitely not, um, you're on this person's mind. They can't get you out of their mind. Let's just pull a couple more. This has promise and this is making them want to make a commitment as well for the future. I feel as if with the ace, it's probably early days, but they want to make a commitment for the future. Just going to get a couple more. Okay. Yeah, there's still a few things that need to be um, worked out here. And this person may have issues trusting, but also I feel like it is quite, um, again, early enough in the connection that they're still trying to figure out what you are thinking, what you are wanting to do, um, how to not get played, actually. I feel like this person is definitely someone who overthinks. Um, however they're getting ready to make this step forward, to make this commitment. It's not something they take lightly, but they want to do it because I think they realize they have to if they want to make sure that you do not walk away. Um, they know that you don't want to waste your time and they know that you're more than capable of cutting the tie if you need to. Now, I don't know if that's true. That may not be true, but that's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as someone who is capable of moving on when necessary. If they, you know, if they don't treat you right, or if they take too long to make a decision, um, they're realizing that it's decision making time. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.